Alright, let's get this motherfucking Monday morning started. It's time to get it in. It's the week to my motherfucking birthday this Friday. Let's get it! <laughs> That shit's irrelevant Saying you pop off That shit's irrelevant yeah. If I get caught You know I'm bailing it If I ass out yeah. You know yeah. I'm nailing yeah. it Fuck that tough talk That shit's irrelevant Saying you pop off That shit's irrelevant If I get caught You know I'm bailing it If I ass out You know I'm nailing it By the way the boy go by Heist man I don't strike Shit, what up though? Heist Man the Foe, Talk That Talk, episode 36. Today is Monday, March the 4th. Was well, Mad as Hell Monday, as some people call it. That's why I like to call it Mad as Hell Monday, because I'm mad as hell. I've been mean, going through a little bit of technical difficulties with my motherfucking sound quality. Um, Some people say it's too loud. When I mean some people, I mean the one people, one person that got in my back every time I'm recording. The gatekeeper drew. He be like, hey, bro, your shit was a little bit too loud. So, got to take that into consideration. I don't know if I'm too close to the mic. I'm not turning the mic up. I'm not turning it down too much. I don't care. We finna get this off, though. We gonna talk that talk. Mad as hell Monday. Or the day after Sunday. I never really talked about this, but I'm not a church person. I'm talking about, like, at all. Like, and... I, I never, I never did like going to church growing up, you know. Um, I went. I had to go. My mama made me go. My daddy made me go. My grandma made me go. Everybody made me go. I was kind of um different with church though. Like my mama was a seven. No, my mama was a Jehovah's Witness. My daddy was a Baptist, and my grandma was a Seventh Day Adventist. So I went through. I covered all the church spectrums. I went to all of them. And all of it's bullshit. No, I'm not. I'm not saying that. But I, I hated church growing up though. One thing I hate about churches was um, the one in North Carolina I went to. We, we all had to do Bible verses, you know. It's like one moment of the damn a church and the preacher or the pastor, he was a reverend. So yeah, I said preacher, pastor, but it's a reverend. Okay, Reverend Franks was his name at Brian Chapel AME Zion Baptist Church. He used to make us get up there and do Bible verses. So Sunday morning, I'm over there doing the same Bible verse every Sunday I had to go to church. And my Bible verse was, let brotherly love continue. I'm talking about some people get up there to get a whole little Bible verse, a, pas a passage, you know. And the girls that went to the church, like, they used to, like, glorify that shit. They get up there, and Jesus wept, and he did this, and he did that, and then, 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 They read the whole scripture. And it come to my turn, I'd be mad as hell up there. Let brotherly love continue. I say the same shit every week. But I hated that, man. I hated going to church, though. I had a cousin, though, named Jonathan. One time we went to church. And they got all the kids up there to the church. And um, the pastor asked us. He said, um, what do you need to make a house? So he asked every child individually. And my cousin happened to be the last one. But it was crazy because he knew the fucking answer. And as we were sitting there giving our answer, you can just look at him. He had his head held up so fucking high because he knew the answer. But I didn't know that. But as I got older and realized that shit, you know, he had he did have the right answer. But you just see all the kids. You need bricks. You need mortar. You need cement. You need wood. You need um hammer. You need nails. So every child, you know. Was sitting there giving up his answer. So it came to my cousin. He had his head so fucking high in the air. He told my son, you need a great foundation. <laughs> and that was the answer. To build a house, you need a foundation. So the damn pastor said, exactly, Brother Jones. It's exactly what you need. And he went on to his whole little sermon about having a great foundation and shit about church. And I was like, my cousin a punk for that shit, man. Because he knew the fucking answer. Because he was a church nerd. So fuck that. But one thing else I did um, hate about church was um, in, in our neighborhood, all the boys are going to get their hair cut like right before church in, this, in the neighborhood we stayed in, in North Carolina. And it was crazy because when you get there, you see the 
all your all your friends there they got to go to church too do you see all the older boys who got to go to church also so when you get in there you, you like okay i hope i'm hoping i get my hair cut last so i won't make it to church you know because the church right down the street all the like all the neighborhood everybody went to the church but it was crazy because the, the older boys are bullied the little kids like man now nah, you going first i'm like man you were here before me they didn't want to go to church either they wanted to sit and smoke and drink and do all kind of other shit. but they also had to go to church so they used to be like a real, real mad thing i used to get i used to be real mad about that i get in there to my big cousin like nah fuck that you going first like come on man come on you go first but let me tell you the weird thing about it it don't matter how many people was in there the barber had everybody hair cut before church. And that's weird. I hated that. But that was my Sunday rant because I hate church. I, I never liked church. I never got into it. To each his own though. But it's also Mardi Gras. Um, and Mardi Gras happened, you know, it's going on right now. And what happened to Mardi Gras, a drunk man hit and killed some pedestrians on bikes, you know. The crazy part about it, the dude who did drunk driving and hit motherfuckers, he was the um, son of a police officer. That's crazy. I know some Mardi Gras facts too, you know, a little bit. Mardi Gras come from this, um, the Carnival. The Carnival. It's like started in 19, oh, 1837, around the French Quarter. And Carnival is... Um, it's carne lavare. That's what it's. That's 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 what it means in French, Car, carne lavare. But it means to remove meat. And people eat, you know, to remove meat around that time during the um, Mardi Gras or Carnival. They had to eat food before Lent and fast. You know, they did this shit because they didn't have refrigeration back then. You know, it wasn't common. For, into the 19th century so the food was spoiled so instead of letting the food go to waste the families would get together and party up and that's how you got you know the carnival or carne lavare but carnival but carnival ends on mardi gras which is french for fat tuesday and it's the last opportunity to consume animal fat before lent so that's all it is is a big fucking party on mardi gras and it's about some it's, it's about catholic shit really you know but that's all right. What else happened in the news today? I'm just saying it's, it's Mardi Gras season going on right now. Uh, a man survived off taco packets. He was stuck in the car with his dog for, for five days in Oregon. It was cold. God damn, he ain't had up with some taco packets. Ooh. Were they hot? Were they mild? Mm -hmm. Were they taco? They had to be Taco Bell because I don't think no other places give out taco packets. Like taco sauce. That's crazy, man. He was stuck in the car for five days. And that's all he ate was taco packets, man. Damn. Big shout out to the homie, man. Him and his dog. Heard him and the dog survive. Woo. What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, a tornado tore up motherfucking Alabama today. Woo. Well, last night. Today, Monday. So, it might have happened last. No, I think it happened overnight. Killed like 20-something people. News reports is different. Some of them say he killed 23 people. Some of them say he killed... 15 people and it is going down right now so shout out not shout out but prayers up to all the people in alabama man that got fucked up in this tornado because it's some it's some crazy storms going on right now like in um new york and boston i think schools closed down because of all the storms up there it's just like the world going crazy right now it's march and it's still snowstorms everywhere so it's crazy so I think um, everybody should just do one, like one good deed for the week, man. Like you got to give a bum a dollar or a meal or something, man. And I say that because I don't know. That's just, give them a meal. Like me, I can sit up here. I talk a lot of shit all the time. I, I do a lot of drinking and smoking and cursing and saying the N word and the F word. And it's all satire, though. Like heist man love everybody. But one thing heist man hates is poverty. I hate seeing people hungry, man. I cannot do that. I don't believe that there should be one soul on this earth hungry, man. Like, bums, I can see, like, shit don't go right. You can be a bum. Like, 
I've seen bums everywhere. Everybody's seen bums or homeless people or whatever you want to call them. Peasants. Well, I ain't gonna call them peasants, but but heist man, I don't, I don't fuck with um hunger, man. And like I don't like seeing that. I don't I don't think nobody should be on this earth hungry, man. And when I see a bum hungry, I I got to give them something. I got to give them like even if they lying to me, just trying to get that liquor or something. If I see a bum, I'm going I got to dig in my pockets, man, cuz I I just can't see it, man. I don't like that. Anything else like I I still fight and curse and drink and call people faggots or whatever. I don't mean it. I you know, I don't hate gays, but heist man don't deal with no bum. I mean, I deal with bums, but I don't I don't like that, man. That's just some of my softer side right now. Cuz I don't like it, man. I'm tired of seeing bums. And ain't nothing I'm going to do that's going to be able to stop it. But, you know, it happens that way. So I think everybody should do like one good deed for the week, man. Just everybody, just do one good thing. Just, if it ain't doing nothing but helping an old lady across the street, anything. It's, it's some good shit you can do. So do some good shit this week. Ooh. Police officers are not charged in another black man killing. What's the dude name? Stefan Clark. Damn, yeah. <coughs> Stefan <coughs> Clark, he got killed over in, um, what do you call this place? California somewhere, man. He got killed, so, and the police didn't get charged for it. Now, the thing is, like, I feel kind of both ways about this. Not that, about this particular situation, but... First of all, how do I put this? Like, you can't be doing shit, man. That's going to look like you doing something wrong, man. Like, you can't resist the rest. That's just, that's just like, come on, man. You can't have shit in your hand. People be getting shot. Like, every, everything ain't they fucking fault, you know? Like, the police, good or bad, like. If you sitting there talking back to the police, making them irritated, agitated, they can shoot you and you don't even know about it. So, I mean, you'll know about it because you're dead or you probably won't know about it. But I'm saying you can do shit to get fucked up by the police. Like having a cell phone in your hand like Stefan Clark did. I can see I can see why they said they he had something in his hand and they shot him, you know. The thing is, I'm getting tired of these motherfuckers getting shot. Like, I watch a lot of TV and... They shoot motherfuckers one time or something, pow, shoot them in the arm, the gun fall out of his hand. Like, what happened to that shit? What happened to shooting people in the legs or something? Like, in the movies, like, they think you do, pow, 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 they murk you. They don't waste no time, no bullets or nothing. And I understand this life or death is me against you, me or you, but the training got to them do something better, man. It, it, it really do. I, I don't know how, how to go with this. It's just crazy. It's just tired of seeing motherfuckers getting popped every damn day every week and ain't just black people getting shot either they just put that on tv the most to stir up some shit is white people getting killed chinese people getting i don't know hey, how many chinese people in america is it or asian what you know what i mean though but like i'm saying just keep quit doing shit to get shot pull the fuck over put your hands out the window already or something but but like i said it's their job too you know I don't think I ain't seen nobody get arrested and locked up for shooting nobody as a cop. That's their job. They not that they have to shoot people, but they are authority, a law figure. So is they were going up first. So, mm -hmm. but since we talking about niggas getting shot, is that time of the motherfucking episode when we inhale and we exhale, we release the nigga. So on the count of three, for this Monday, this mad as hell Monday. We gon' motherfucking breathe in and exhale the nick. <coughs> Here we go. One, two, three. <sighs> Nigga. That felt good. All right, what else I got on the motherfucking news today to talk about? I'm gonna do me a top 10. Oh, I got a top 10. I got the top 10 food mascots. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do a top 10 right now. 
I ain't really got much to talk about Monday. I mean, today. We is going to talk about this is the motherfucking week leading up to my birthday. My birthday is Friday. And I want everybody to come holler at your boy. Come fuck with me on the Ray Rollins Network this Thursday night. Because it's like my birthday Friday, but it starts at Thursday night on 12 o'clock. You know, and I will be live on the Ray Rollins Network. And, um... I, I, I would say something about it on Twitter, but the people on Twitter, like, I don't know. Is they going to reciprocate the love for me? Like, I know the people listening to this, they fuck with me, you know. So if I put it out on Twitter, it's like they fuck with me and they fuck with everybody else. I want the people who fuck with me to fuck with me. And the people who fuck with me, this is the best way I can reach them by putting it on this um, platform right here. On this YouTube channel. On this Talk That Talk. So everybody come out Thursday. Celebrate the motherfucking birthday of Heist Man the Foe. On the Ray Rollins Network at 11 p.m. We gonna get it in. Or, I mean, and you can go back and listen to last night's show. We did the um, 15 porn stars who did YouTube. And got kind of wild. Go listen to it, man. About two hours of greatness. Ray Rollins, Alex Payne. Heist Man the Fool, Bailey Smoke, Rudolph, Shots Fire, Christian, everybody, we was there, we was lit. But, like I said, this is the motherfucking top 10. So, the top 10 um, food mascots. Number 10 is the Jolly Green Giant. Ho, 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 Green Giant. Y'all remember him? The Green Giant, he on vegetable packages and shit. He, um, he made his first appearance in 1958. Long time before the Heist Man was born, but that's number 10, the Jolly Green Giant. Number nine is the Coca-Cola Polar Bears. Now, I remember the, cola, the Polar Bears. They be drinking the Coke and shit out in the cold and the snow. They all right. They dope. They're pretty cool. Number eight. Are we excluding like cereal people too? Like in, it, it ain't got nothing to do with fast food restaurants or cereal because, you know, we can do a whole nother list on that. This is like just the... Top 10 food mascots, you know. All right, number eight is Mr. Peanut from Planters Peanuts. I think he was cool, man. I just think he should have had some glasses on. I mean, he did look dignified and, you know, and straight up gangster and shit with the top hat and the motherfucking cane and the one eye. We call it the monocle. Be pimping and shit with the cane and shit, but he was still a nut, so I don't know. But Mr. Peanut is number eight. Number seven is Chester Cheetah. The Cheetos dude. Eh, he alright. He alright. I like the Cheetos. I like I had some flaming hot Cheetos today. They're pretty they're pretty dope. Uh, number six is the helping hand, the hamburger helper. I don't, I don't I don't really like the hamburger helper, man, because he got four fingers. You know? Oh, you look at the damn hamburger helper, man. He only got four fingers. So that's crazy. I don't know. What what what, what, what 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 finger missing? Is the middle finger missing? Like he do have a thumb and he do have a pinky, but it's only like two fingers in there. So is the ring finger missing? Is the middle finger missing or the index finger? I don't know. You look at hamburger helper, I gotta figure out what finger is missing. Is he not he don't wanna say fuck you to nobody? He don't wanna point at nobody or he don't wanna get married. So we got a conspiracy about Mr. Hamburger Helper. Either he don't wanna get married, he don't wanna say fuck you, or he don't wanna point he don't wanna snitch on you. He might be a good dude. The pinky, he might do the Dr. Evil. Evil with the pinky. And he might hit Chike with the thumb. But other fingers are questionable because we don't know what they are. And I just went on to some a rant about some crazy shit. But you know how I do, man. I be smoking weed. All right. Number five is the Nest Quick Bunny. Eh, I ain't seen too much of the Nest Quick Bunny lately. The Nestle Quick Bunny. He debuted at Strawberry, then he changed the chocolate. So he did like a reverse Michael Jackson. He was white and went to black. <laughs> Revitalago. The next quick money. He ain't been around in a while though. He don't do no commercials like he used to. I ain't seen a chocolate milk commercial in a long time. Hmm. All right. Number four is the California Raisins. Oh, the California Raisins was dope. They had the, um, what's it? The Marvin Gaye song. Ooh, I heard it to the grapevine. Yep. They, they were dope. They had all kind of brands and merchandise. Like growing up, I'm, I'm an '80s baby man. I was born in the '80s, so I seen a lot of um, California raisins, man. Let me tell you the, the saddest thing I've ever seen about the California raisins, though. When I was in, I think first grade, 
we had a um halloween costume halloween costume contest in our first grade class and you know everybody had their costumes and shit on but this one boy his mama came up to the damn school put a trash bag on his over his body you know poking the arms out put on some um some some big glasses and like painted his cheeks red and put him on some um some big like circle um sleeping shoes and she said he was a california raisin and i was like wow that's crazy but as i got older i thought about man she was like that was some broke ass shit but <laughs> <clears throat> but it was poverty maybe she didn't she couldn't afford it but she came all the way out to the school to put that boy in the trash bag and make him a, a california raisin and now that i'm older i think like she did the best she can do and hey it just happened to be like that it was the best she can do so big shout out to her man like it was like my first grade class it was so long ago like i thought she was some, a broke ass mama you know doing that shit and she was a broke ass mama doing that shit but she took the time out of her day to come up to the school and paint him in a fucking black trash bag coming to the California race. I swear to God, I cannot make this shit up. It happened in my first grade class. So, nigga, if you ever hear this and you remember wearing the trash bag and mommy painting your face with some glasses on, be shout out to you and your man. I mean, your mama. You said your mammy. All right, number three is the Kool Aid Man. Ooh, yeah. Kool Aid Man, he need to sit his ass down busting through people's walls and shit, man. So, yeah, fuck him. Kool-Aid, man. I like Kool-Aid, though. Only, th only Kool-Aid I don't like is orange Kool-Aid. And the reason why I don't like orange Kool-Aid because I can't mix it right. It seems like... I don't know if do you got to put the water... Do you gotta, I make Kool-Aid a certain way. I put the sugar and I, make, and I put the packets in there. Then I pour the water on top of it and mix it. You know, some people put the water in there, then put the Kool-Aid, then put the sugar. Regardless of how you make it, I cannot mix it right. It never comes out right. Only person that can make Kool-Aid, orange Kool-Aid to me, is my cousin in Detroit. He know how to make all Kool-Aid. He like the Kool-Aid master. Shout out to Terry. Rock, what up, Nick? Um, he know how to make orange Kool-Aid. I do not know how to make orange Kool-Aid. I can make all the other flavors, but it just seems like orange do not mix white. Mix, that mix white. It don't mix right. <laughs> and... Oh, that was number three. Number two is Poppin' Fresh, the Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> Poke him in the stomach, the fat motherfucker. Pillsbury Doughboy, he all right, man. Um, what about the Pillsbury Doughboy? Poppin' Fresh, that's his real name. He, he be popping. I don't know. Fuck him. Pillsbury Doughboy, number two, and number one is M Ms for the motherfucking top ten food mascots. The thing is, after I got done with this list, I thought this was what kind of racist list because they have no black mascots or mascots of um j um race we call it a different race um for one there is a mascot named pringles do you know pringles is real first name is julio pringles so i think julio pringles must be a latino pringles julio pringles that's the nigga name so you ever see pringle can and be like hey I know his real name. His name is Julio. And you know that from Heist Man and Talk That Talk. All right. And they didn't have Ain't Your Mammy or Ain't Your Mama. You know, she black. They ain't have Miss Butterworth. She black. They ain't have Uncle Ben Rice. And he black. So, this is kind of outdated probably. I don't know. But fuck it. Not but fuck it, but. But fuck it, you know. Ugh, I don't sound right, but fuck it. <laughs> and they, we didn't, um, well, who else? Did, some honorable mention was the Vlasted Pickle Stork, the Keebler L's, and Punchy, the Hawaiian Punch Man. See, they didn't want to put Hawaiian up there. They said, nah, you ain't on the continental United States landlocked ones. So they won't, they, they played them too. But, like I said, man, they played, um, Angel Mama, Miss Butterworth, and Uncle Ben because they were black. So they didn't even make the list. They put a motherfucking green giant up there, though. So, I don't know. But, like I said, Julio is the Pringles nigga name. All right, this has been motherfucking Talk That Talk episode 36. And, Friday, I will be turning 36. Brother Man is getting old. I ain't getting old, I'm getting better. I age like fine wine. 
But fuck with your boy Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk. Episode 36. Fuck with me tomorrow and every other day of the week. Peace.